Hello from Spears Bee Farm. I'm Linda Spears and this is Andy Forrest. She is a new beekeeper who came to help and learn. We spent an entire day hands-on in the bee yard. Andy took the bee class at Eldon last winter and has started with one nuke this spring. The sale of our winter nukes left queenless hives that needed attention. On our Andy day we did inspections, made walkaway splits, installed queens, and requeened when needed. We ended up covering many of the basic steps of beekeeping. A really good day for learning. Uh, uh, I think the bees are uh, that away. When you leave bees without a queen and eggs or larva, they start to make their own queens. These are queen cells. They are drawn out from larva in the brood and fed royal jelly to develop the queens. On the left is a double nuke. On the right is a colony where we had taken the queen, three frames of brood, and about four pounds of bees. What we have left are two walkaway splits from queen cells they had made and a ten frame of bees and resources where we put the new queen. This picture shows topping off the two nukes in the one box. There's a board dividing the two sides. Each side got two frames, a feeder, and a half-size inner cover. The lid covers it all to keep it dry and protected. This could also be referred to as a mating nuke since the cells are being left to hatch and sending the new queen off for her mating flight.